And the problem becomes is that these are invitations, these are not guaranteed. Just because these attractors are laid down does not mean we will attain them. And what often happens is, as we talked about, we can transcend and not include. So two deep pathologies showing up right now that I uh, unfortunately believe makes up about 80% of the stage. I think 80% of what we think of as green postmodern is pathological. That's, my, that's an opinion. Because there's two pathologies that have occurred. One of them is a pathology within green and one of them is mistaking lower levels for green because they're signaling the cultural code of green. And so two things happen as we transcend, right? Let's say, for instance, we're, our parents were boomers and they attained, they grew up hippies and they went to Woodstock and they dropped acid and they loved everyone and everyone was equal and the, you know, all of this stuff was awesome and you know what, we hate the hierarchy of this stage, we hate the structure of this stage, the discipline of this stage. Hell, these people used to spare the rod and spoil the ch children and, and we, we want we want to just let our children just grow up in nature and do whatever they want to do and be awesome and and we don't like structure we don't like discipline we don't like we don't like achievement because achievement from the orange stage of development from modernity all it did was destroy the environment and that's horrible so we want to come up here and we want to reject orange and we want to inject reject amber and when we do that we throw the baby out with the bathwater so we popped up into here into these higher stages so the boomer kids are born into this and they're around this all the time but there but our culture has no understanding of this epoch six are Political institutions need to first and foremost, the number one priority of a civilization needs to be to move the needle vertically in its populace. That needs to be how the social structures in the lower right are set up, how the educational systems are set up, how the socioeconomic system is set up. Before anything else, how do we move the needle vertically in the populace? But that's not what happens because there's zero understanding about it at, I at the educational level, at the academic level, well, same, same thing, at the uh, socioeconomic level, at the political level, there's zero understanding of it and zero understanding in the parents that are raising these kids. And so now they're born into a postmodern culture with postmodern values but there is no real path. Where are they going to get healthy amber and healthy structure and healthy discipline if their parents gave it up in the 60s? And so now what happens is that these kids grow up into this, and this has been going on for decades, right? But you grow, they grow up heading for this and they get into as a child, everybody, everybody develops through these same stages. They go through the magical stage, they go through the mythic stage. But they don't capture the healthy structure, healthy discipline, healthy accountability, healthy responsibility, nor from the red power stage do they capture the healthy self-confidence, autonomy, drive, <laughs> Then they move up into modernity, right? And they're taught that all views are relative uh, and that the environment is being destroyed by corporate America, and, which is all true, but they don't capture any of the fiscal health achievement orientation, any of the things that are needed to be included in this stage. So we have a large, large group of people who have grown into the, this stage and have very broken power centers, traditional value systems and responsibility and discipline, and broken orange. They do not have the ability for critical thought to begin with. 
They disdain anything that has anything to do with achievement and progress because they only relate it to the achievement and progress of modernity that destroyed the environment and created unequal wealth distributions, mistaking achievement and progress for that type of achievement and progress, which is a complete uh, category error. And without an achievement and progress drive in here, this becomes flat and starts to collapse. And now you have people up here with no structure, no discipline, no accountability, no critical thought, No drive, hating everything that has to do with money, and that is making up a large part of the cultural creatives right now. Broken power, broken traditional, and broken modern within pluralistic values, and, and it's, it's incomplete development. It's a rocky foundation they're trying to support postmodern values. That's one huge problem. The other one is, is that people that are not really developed past power or mythic literal, born into a culture, as I stated, that, are, that is exposing them constantly to pluralistic postmodern values, they start to signal those values and hijack those values for their own narcissistic purposes. And they haven't even developed yet into modernity, let alone postmodernity, but they're grabbing these values and shouting about things like equality and pluralism and all of this stuff, and it's, it's simply a way to get their way because it's coming from where their real center of gravity is, which is power narcissistic, ego egocentric. And I'm convinced that those two phenomenon are pretty well overtaken what we think postmodernity and the level of health that's in this is really small right now. And so growing up, right, when we, when we, when we dissipate all of the stress physiology from wherever a person is at in their stage of development, they start to see that it's a four-dimensional world. They start to change their environments. They start to change their relationships. They start to change all of this stuff. And they become healthier wherever they are. And that's awesome. That's great. They won't kill people if they're healthy at that level. But they also then unlock all of that energy we start to expose them to our meetup groups, to other people in our practices, to these new ideologies that they're seeing in the Source Code Meditation book, in the Higher Brain Living Guidebook, and more energy is flowing to their brain, and they're starting to create the neural correlates for these higher stages, and something starts to shift them vertically. And then the declaration, getting to the song in their soul which can drive evolution vertically and they can start to move in this way and tier one tier two tier three hopes to at the very least create a healthy version of you wherever you are and in the best case catalyze your growth vertically is everybody with me yeah. and that's how higher the first three tiers of higher brain living is positioned with the hope that we can catalyze people in out of postmodernity into epoch six, early epoch six. That's growing up. That happens in space and time. That happens in evolution. And as we get into here, we realize that we are evolution. We don't see through this narrow filter that all of these stages through, see through. Our filter goes all the way back 13.8 billion years. And we realize that the very iron in our blood was forged out of a burning star. All right? It's true. The calcium in your bones blew into existence out of a supernova billions of years ago. You contain all of evolution within you. The whole cosmic history is in you. And 
at this point, we know it. And we start to act like it. And that's epoch six. And that's growing up. Okay, is everybody with me? Yes. And that's what we push towards in the first three tiers of higher brain living.